he's not the one when you can tap into your feminine energy. And a lot of people don't even know that it's very important for a woman or a girl to be in her feminine to live a fulfilled and happy life. And I give you a few signs how you recognize that you can be in your feminine when you're with the person you're with right now. So it doesn't matter if you're just talking, dating, or if you're already in a long-term relationship. So when you are the one in the relationship that always plans the dates, plans the travels, plans when you're going to see family and friends, decides what you're going to eat tonight, where you're going to go, what you're going to do, um, you're basically the initiator. And this is something you will recognize very early also in the talking stage. For example, when you're always the person that texts first or you're planning when you're going to see each other again, it means that you can be in your feminine with this person. It can be even worse. For example, you pay the bills, you pick up the other person with the car, you do the household, you work, you care about the kids. You do literally everything to keep this relationship alive. And this is all masculine energy. So masculine energy is all about investment, taking actions, taking decisions. And when a woman is too long in her masculine and can't tap into her feminine, it's very unhealthy for her soul and body.